Hi, my name is Tika, and today I'm going to be designing false. Woohoo! I haven't really tried to make a very unique false design. Normally when I used to draw her, I would just draw her without putting too much thought into it. But this time, I am putting thought into it. Have you ever tried doing literally anything with long hair? I have. And if you've done that, you know that it's absolutely horrible and irritating. Which is why in a lot of future false designs, I tried to put her hair up. But I ended up put going against it because I, I couldn't resist the amount of like potential that open hair has. Here's a few of my concept pages. I took a lot of inspiration from female athletes because I think in my brain, false is like one of those like really tall, strong people who like would casually pick you up and like throw you, you know? As I said before, I hadn't put too much thought to my previous false designs, so I put there's gonna be a lot more emphasis on my character design process in this time lapse thingy. So of course, you know, I, I chose an animal to help me, you know, just get ideas of what to inspire me for character design. And for false, I chose a hawk, mostly because she's in my brain she's very closely associated with birds, but also because hawks are, you know, known for being dangerous and she is the queen of head, hearts, and body parts. I probably messed that up, but it's fine. One of the things I noticed is that I kept trying to give false like these big goggles because I thought they'd add a lot of shape. But the problem with that is that she also had big eyes. And the way I choose to draw eyes on like characters, specifically Minecraft ones, depends on their skin. So false doesn't have like these little dot eyes, meaning that I, I would prefer that her eyes were big when I draw them too. And if I tried to add big goggles as well as have the big eyes, it would make her face too cluttered and difficult to look at, so I made the goggles a bit smaller. This is when I decided to keep her hair down because I decided I could use it if it tucked inside of her sweater and went out, it kind of looked like bird feathers. I want my videos to have some kind of takeaway at the end, that way it doesn't feel like you just watched a whole pile of nothing. So the takeaway I want of this video to be is that something that seems like an obstacle can really be a help in disguise, like that hair. I was trying to move it out of the way or make it more practical, but I could have just used it to make more shape for a character, and maybe that could be helpful to someone watching. I tried a few different things with this video. Last time I tried a lot to mess with the audio and it was too much of a hassle to really bother with, so yeah. Um, Next up is Jem, who I'm excited for, and it might be a while because I'm starting college soon, so yeah, bye.